What's going on, y'all? It's your boy Forever Vaughn. Back to you guys with another video. And today we're going to be talking about mental health and why is it important and uh, things you can do to actually cope or resources you can go to to actually, you know, help you out with your mental health. Also, I want to react to a video that I've seen on social media about a guy explaining mental health within men, especially black men also, too, because that's an issue within my community. But uh, without further ado, we're going to react to this video well not really react we're gonna watch this video because he's spitting facts hold on let's put on these headphones real quick here we go to help is very important man like if you if you know you can't get help from somebody around you or somebody that you look up to then it's always okay to go get a therapist it's okay. definitely it is okay to get a therapist man it is definitely okay to get a therapist, please. If you have nobody to reach out to, get a therapist. If you don't feel the need, like if you don't feel comfortable going to like a family or friend, seek a therapist. For real, for real, honestly. Do that because you don't want to just be walking through life or just going day by day, just suffering on the inside. But let's keep going. It's always okay to get somebody that can help you, guide you, you know what I'm saying, give you good advice. So we can't be stuck in that mentality as, like I say, as black men, because it's really black men. Like, There we go. That too. I know within my community, it's black people. Shoot, it is hard for us to talk about mental health because nobody acknowledges that shit within our community. Nobody acknowledges that. It's either, man, tough it out. We're not allowed to talk about it. Like, uh, I remember one time when I went to my grandma, like, this was when I was young, when I was like, first found out about depression. I was like, Grandma, I think I'm sad. I think I'm having depression. She tells me, that ain't nothing but the devil. Go to church. Okay. You see, like, stuff like that. It was actually, like, it's actually, like, kind of tabooish to, like, you know, talk about, like, mental health within my community. But let's keep it going. Strong black men that we got to just go through this shit and just be tough. Like like I said, the uh, main thing my therapist always told me was, stop saying you strong. You know, she was like, don't ever say you strong. Like, just take that vocabulary word or that little phrase or that sentence out of your, out of your. Okay, with him saying that, yes, that is true. Um, when it comes to mental health, just mental health period. Don't say, don't say you like, okay. And in certain situations, as far as when it comes to females and stuff like, like just females, like you dealing with a female, bro, you're supposed to stay strong no matter what. You got to stay strong. Stay strong. Stay strong when it comes to people. But like just this life period and just like you holding things in at all times, bro, you got to, you got to learn to just, you got to learn to let go, let go, seek the help, put in the work. Because like I said, in my previous video, um, we think with logic and that that's a, you know without without our mental health being right and that's not and that's not being right in the head how are you gonna think logically think about it how are you how are you gonna think with this if you're not right up here because your mental health is deteriorating but let's keep it going brain you know what i'm saying don't ever say you're strong because when you say you're strong people always gonna hold you to that you know what I'm saying? They're going to always think that you're always going to be strong, even though you, you're going through some shit. They're not going to never care about that. You know what I'm saying? Facts. Men, like I said, we don't have, we, we barely have any outlets as men because society holds us to be strong at all times. Yes, we, we have to be strong, but when it comes to mental health, come on now. We're human. Like, do you guys not realize that a lot of men in America, even around the world, we can we have the highest suicide rates out of women. Like, yo, between between men and women, men have the highest because society holds us to be strong, whether it be physically or mentally. We gotta be strong at all times. I say the mental part, man, with you at the end of the day too. We so with that being said, man, if if you're going through something, like I said, I went through something. I, I've, I've taken, you know, therapy lessons. I take therapy. I, I take therapy. 
I go to therapy. Um, also, I do self care, like meditation, which helps also too. So I would say meditation can help you also too. Keep yourself productive, staying in the gym. Because I remember I was going through my shit with my ex. Um, shit. And I said I was weak at that point. I, I was vulnerable, man. I couldn't eat. I couldn't sleep. Like, fuck. I couldn't be productive. I couldn't I couldn't even fucking work. At, one, at, at points in time, I couldn't even fucking work. Because I had nobody to talk to. I couldn't let it out. And I, 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 I only seen one way out. Which was, you know what? But I snapped. And I decided, like, I have to put in that work. Let me go seek help. Let, let me seek the help that I need. You know, let me put in the work. That's important. Mental health is very important because as men, we're thinking with logic. How 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 am I gonna be able to think with logic if I'm not right up here? If I'm not right mentally, you get what I'm saying. So that's what drives men to do crazy stuff like you know, killing themselves, man. Because a lot of men, as men, we don't we don't have no help. Nobody gives a fuck. You know, women like you know they going through some shit like you know, it, it, it's, it's like. It's like coddling a child. Everybody cares. But as men, society holds us to a higher standard. Whether we going through something mentally, like you get a pat on the back and, you know, hey, brother, stay strong. Don't give up. Just stay strong. But you don't have to go through that. No man should have to go through any, like, any mental health issues at all. We shouldn't have to go through that. We should be able to, you know, seek help, seek professional help, self-help. But let's keep going. So mental health is very important. And if you get a chance, so mental All right, that's, that's the end of the video. I'm going to go ahead and make this strong. Go ahead and make this uh, bigger, a little bit bigger. All right. Fuck it, that's fine. But, uh, yeah, mental health is very important, especially as a man, bro. Because we literally have no outlets, no outlets, like as far as, you know, family and friends, you can't go to your friends. If, if you if you have friends that are understanding, I would say go to your friends. I went to my friends. My friends were patient with me. I was scared to go because I didn't want them to think that I was a bitch or nothing like that. Oh, you a weak ass nigga. Oh, you, bro, you're crying, bro. Life is hard already, bro. So just deal with it. I, I got patient friends. So they helped me. They helped me, you know, snap me out of what I was going through. Uh, as far as professional help, uh, I went out and seek help. Um, and I would say, like, I'm doing pretty good. Um, especially, like, when you're able to talk to somebody, bro, without being judged. Yeah, bro, that, that, that's the best feeling in the world, man. That's the, I'm telling you guys, that's the best feeling in the world. Also, meditation, like keeping yourself productive, going to the gym, that also helped me too. I mean, that was a big help for me. So I just want to pass this information on to you guys. That's actually like, if you guys feel like you guys can't go to anybody, yes, you can go to get professional help. Like, it's, and, it, and as far as like just, you know, some weakness around like women and stuff, stuff like that, bro. I mean, that's already understood. You, you know, they don't give a fuck. You know, don't go, don't go to like you know a significant other that made you or like you know don't. I mean, you can, but you know, we, they're still gonna hold you accountable. You know, because like I said, society told men you gotta be strong at all times. Uh, yeah, so. If you guys are suffering mentally, for real, for real, nah, for real, for real, like, dead ass, seek help, seek professional help. Uh, if you got friends that are understanding, um, you feel like they won't judge you, I would say go to your friends. Go to, go, to, go to the homie, you know, talk to your homie. I'm pretty sure your homie's not going to judge you unless that's really not your homie. I don't think your homie's really going to judge you from, you know, going to him about, you know, what you're going through. 
everybody does go through something so I, I try not to put my energy onto it like really anybody else like like friends or anything like that um so i really not i really try not to do that because everybody has their own shit going so i would say you know the best way to go would be uh professional help or uh you know do some do some self-healing as far as like meditation getting a, getting your mind right uh being productive all times, cause I, I remember when I was going through my shit, and I just used to stay in the fucking house, bro. I wasn't being productive at all, bro. Like I said, uh, I couldn't even fucking work. I couldn't concentrate on anything like that, bro. And it pushed me to the point where I was in a dark place, and I thought I was never gonna come back. And I had to snap out of it. My motivation for me, like snapping out of it, and like actually seeking the help, was my daughter. So I, I would also say, you know, find something that like is gonna spark you, like is gonna like. Give you motivation to help yourself also, too. Find something, like, like my daughter, like, was motivation for me to get, seek professional help. It was definitely motivation. Also, um, don't, don't worry about anybody judging you. <laughs> that, that's, that's all I'm gonna say, bro. Fuck it, bro. Like, your, your, your mental health is important, man. Your mental health is definitely important. You shouldn't give a fuck about what anybody say because they not living your life. You're living your life. You don't want to be, you know, depressed 24-7 or what you, whatever you're going through. You don't, you don't want to be like that 24-7, bro. Fuck, fuck what people think. Shit. But uh, on that tip, I want to tell you guys, like, seriously, if you guys are going through something, seek help, whether it's a friend uh, as far as family, for me, what I, I mean, I don't know about you guys. Go to family, too. As far as me, I really try to stray away from family. Like I said, like, in my community, like, especially as a black man, bro, like, you always, like, tough that shit out. Um, so I would say go to family uh, if you can. I'm not saying all black people like that, but just, like, my experience, like, when I went to my family. But, uh family if you can if you got a homie like i said a homie that's not gonna judge you like think you like a bitch or anything because you're going through some shit like that bro go to the go to the homie uh also self-care you got self-care techniques as far as meditation staying staying um staying productive uh putting in the end work like uh working out or something like that also i would say the best thing the best the best route to go because it's like you can talk to this person without being judged at all or be like you think you're being judged or anything like that i would say go to a therapist therapists definitely can help you like you can actually talk to that person um yeah they're gonna sympathize with you they're getting paid to sympathize with you and stuff like that but they're actually there to listen they're there to listen like i said most men in america and around the world commit suicide more than women because where society has held us to the point where we we can't we can't we can't show no type of weakness like especially like with mentally we can't show no mental weakness that's that's our society today that's facts you guys look up the numbers of how many men commit suicide every fucking year because they going through it mentally. It's not good to hold in. It's not good to hold in the pain, bro. You got you got to at least reach out to somebody. That's a part of healing too. That's a that's that's a part of healing yourself. You got to reach out. So with that being said, I'm sorry guys. This this do hit home like it hit home for me because like I said I, I used to go through it every fucking day. I used to go through it every day. I'm telling you guys by from experience, and I'm telling you guys now, bro. Seek help, bro. That shit helped me, for real, for real. And um, yeah, that that concludes the video for today. This has been your boy Fort Vine. Appreciate y'all. Uh, if you guys did like the advice, please comment, like, share the video, all that. Uh, I appreciate y'all. Love you guys. It's been your boy Fort Vine. Peace.